we about to have a good day. Okay. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Okay. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Okay, since Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas for waking up today. Shout out to my niggas, we don't fuck with the ops. Shout out to my niggas, cause we stay with the glocks. Shout out to my niggas that be posted on the block. Shout out to my niggas that's getting out of jail. Shout out to my niggas that went straight to hell. Shout out to my motherfucking niggas, they Chappelle. Shout out to my niggas. Shout out to my niggas. Yeah, my motherfucking niggas. Yeah, my motherfucking niggas. Dick goes out to all my niggas. Dick goes out to all my niggas. Since they fucking with ya, since they fucking with ya, I said since they fucking with ya, nigga, since they fucking with ya, hey, since they fucking with ya, since they since they fucking with ya. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, let's have a good day. Shout out to my niggas that stay around the way. Shout out to my niggas that stay running plays. Y'all used to know T back when he had the fade. Dreadlocks on the top, nigga, that was the way. Now these bitches see sick riding on the ways. Remember when niggas used to game every day. Now a nigga focus is stacking this pay, stacking this money. Niggas real funny, ducking these bitches trying to take some from me. Shout out to my mama that be keeping me straight. Watch out for these bitches that be shooting it fake. WNBA, by the way, they pump fake. Slipping through the grass, they the sneakiest snakes. Mama mentality, that is the way. Hooping in the backyard with my crazy ace. Shout out to my niggas that's trying to be great. Shout out to my niggas that's making this bank. Shout out to my niggas bringing bacon to the plate. Working two jobs, y'all niggas can't be late. This for RBA, the River City, and the Lakes. Shout out to my niggas, we gon' make it every day. Shout out to my niggas, shout out to my niggas, shout out to my niggas, let's have a good day. <laughs> Trying to fucking work. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas for waking up today. Shout out to my niggas, we don't fuck with the ops. Shout out to my niggas, cause we stay with the glocks. Shout out to my niggas that be posted on the block. Shout out to my niggas that's getting out of jail. Shout out to my niggas that went straight to hell. Shout out to my motherfucking niggas, they Chappelle. Shout out to my niggas. Shout out to my niggas. Yeah, my motherfucking niggas, yeah, my motherfucking niggas. Dick goes out to all my niggas. Dick goes out to all my niggas. Since they fucking with ya. Since they fucking with ya. I said, since they fucking with ya, nigga. Since they fucking with ya. Hey, since they fucking with ya. Since they, since they fucking with ya. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Yerski. 
Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, let's have a good day. Come on now. You feel what I'm saying? What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, guys? What's good, what's good? Welcome back to another stream. I'm not wasting any time. Y'all hear the music in the background. Y'all heard the intro music. We about to have a motherfucking good ass stream, all right? About to have a great ass stream. All right, my, the first guy up in here, my guy Jay Scott. Wait, why is the chat not showing? There we go, I got y'all. I could have sworn the chat was bigger than that though. Hold on, this Kingdom Hearts music loud as fuck. Um, but yeah, my man Fax up in here, second, first, second. I'm saying my man Dream just popped in. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? How's it going? All right, look. <clears throat> it's been... How long has it been since I played Kingdom Hearts, bro? Like, I was on such a great, consistent streak with Kingdom Hearts, and then I just dropped off. <laughs> but, you know, we came back and streamed a little big-ass uh, Dragon Ball reaction stream last stream and whatnot. So, that's what happened then. But... Now it's time to get back into cage, bro. Like I, I still, I still gotta fulfill. You know what I'm saying? That that uh, that promise I done made and shit. I gotta beat this game on stream, bro. Like that's that's the parameters. Like that's the that's the goal right now for the channel is to beat Kingdom Hearts three on stream. And we gonna do that, motherfucker. Hold on, wait. Oh yeah, I was about to look at um. When's the last time I streamed? My oh, man, Dream in here too though. Euro, Euro, Euro. Euro. <laughs> well, what's up, man? How y'all guys doing tonight, man? Um, let me see. The last time I streamed Kingdom Hearts was when? The last time I streamed Kingdom Hearts was two weeks ago. That's crazy. Time flies. All right, we, yeah, we about to get into it, though. Um, I know we was on a hot streak. I probably still got to warm back up to Kingdom Hearts since it's been two whole weeks since I played the damn game. But we about to lock in. About to lock in. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, boom. We about to lock it in, y'all. Anybody that's watching the stream that's new, sub up. Anybody that's watching the stream... Uh, while it's just on the channel as a replay sub up if you're new hit the thumbs up on the stream I appreciate it I appreciate it I appreciate you I appreciate you let's go back to it real quick let's go back to it wait what oh I tried to fucking cast it I'm tripping volume mixer boom Kingdom Hearts sh shut up real quick no not don't share it I mean y'all can share it but I'm not sharing it right now all right, boom. Theater mode. Boom, we unmute. Boom, we go to the point. Hold on. This is what happened last stream. This, this, is, this is last stream, everybody. Jay Scott, man. This is, this Shout is out to Jay Scott. Scott. Okay? This is his combination. This is the Jay Scott combo. The Jay Scott right? combo. I've done some food not, challenges. Not this. I was just showing y'all the food challenges I've done. This is the Jay Scott combo. Is it me or is the stream broke? Wait, the stream is broken? It looks good on my end. Is something wrong with it? Talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me. Hold on, for some reason, this stream... Oh, no, I left. Oh, yeah, I left, I left. I, I was like, what the fuck happened to me? All right. I left. The honey I, bun. I warmed it up. And the cheese. The honey bun and cheese. It's been melted. It's been melted. Okay. Are we still here? What's we wrong with did? the face cam? Y'all still see me? Wait, something wrong with my face cam? Oh, I see what you mean. What the fuck? Yo, what? <laughs> I've never seen it just freeze like that. Yo, I did one of them freezes. Is it good now? Yeah, I've seen it just refresh. What the fuck? Alright, anyway. Everything is still good? I, look, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this shit look crazy, game. I ain't gonna lie. I really did this. This was me doing this. Melted it up. <laughs> it smells crazy. <laughs> right? 
This made the honey bun smell like actual shit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. I, see, I seen it actually bubble up, and it made my stomach churn. I can't kick it to you. But. Not even a struggle meal. What I do have is trust in my man, Jay Scott. <laughs> Jay Scott will never stir me wrong. Okay? All right, hold on. Let's get to the point where, I, where I'm motherfucking. Yummy. Nigga, nigga tried to, nigga tried to say I thought it was good because I did this right here. By the way, niggas, <laughs> nigga tried to say just because I licked my fingers, that was me admitting that it was good. Let me take another bite. I'm just licking my fingers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie though. I'm just licking my taste. fingers, bro. I didn't have a napkin. I didn't have a napkin. I was just licking my fingers. Prisoner of war at every <laughs> Damn, it do sound like it do sound like I was enjoying it though. That's funny uh, as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. This ain't it, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Jay Scott <laughs> Jay Scott, come here. <laughs> Let me talk to you. Hey, you crushing that shit? <laughs> Let me talk to you. <laughs> Yo. I damn, am I was I cap y'all? Was I really enjoying it? Was I really sound like someone wild? <laughs> Can't believe you let that man gash you up to eat something like that. <laughs> but then he got the nerve to say he got the wrong cheese. It was the wrong cheese, bro. It was my bad, bro. It was my bad, bro. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The what? The Is the honey bun with cheese really like that? The world may never know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tom money. Tom money. No, he loved that shit. Oh snap. It, it was a, it was an, it's an acquired taste. All right, it's a, it's an acquired taste. All right, I'm gonna let y'all know that it's an acquired taste. But yeah, that's what happened last stream and shit. Okay, that's what happened last stream. You know, we did some reacting to Dragon Ball, and, and things of that nature. All right, I we did that hearts, shit. Right. Hit them hearts for your boy. Hit them hearts for your boy. Exactly. Exactly. Let's make him relatable. Let's let's make him a, a high school. Chunk. Oh shit! I was talking about. Oh wait, I gotta I gotta clip that. Hold on, wait. That just reminded me that I still need to edit some shit from that stream, bro. I literally, like, I literally only edited one thing from that stream, bro. Hold on, we we gonna get the cage, but I, I got I gotta kind of like recap with myself right now. What the fuck happened last stream and shit? I gotta I like I gotta do that for myself. You know, I gotta do that for myself. So what's better, ass or honey bun with cheese? Ass a hundred percent. A hundred percent, but you already you already knew the answer to that. <laughs> you already knew the answer to that. <laughs> I'll admit LeBron is the goat before I ever. Eat. Someone say yo in the chat, yo, yo. Someone say yo in the chat. Someone say yo. Wait, hold up. So what's better, ass or honey bone with cheese? Bro, this nigga, this nigga Jalen clipped the fuck out of me. 100%. <laughs> hey, this nigga Jalen clipped the fuck out of me. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all, yeah. yeah, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, this is, this is what niggas is doing? Hold on, wait. Let me not leak shit. This is what niggas is doing? I got to Nigga, nigga, clip the fuck out of me. So what's better, ass or honey bun with cheese? Ass, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. But you already, you already knew the answer to that. <laughs> Bro, that's that's easy though. Like, let me, let me, like, let me know somebody that's eating a honey bun with cheese before they eat an ass, bro. <clears throat> I'm eating ass. I'm eating ass ten times out of ten times over a honey bun with cheese. <laughs> Hey yo, uh, alright anyway. 
<laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. Anyway, anyway. Well, if I'll contact you an ass eater. If I'll contact you an ass eater. I mean, that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what happens when you get clipped up and shit. <laughs> but we know the context, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> we know the context and shit. Um, hold on, wait, the, the chat is frozen too. Ooh. It's frozen. Damn, I fucking... Fuck. <laughs> I think the stream is back, though. Yeah, I hear me now. I opened Photoshop on accident, though. <laughs> Nigga, I opened, I opened Photoshop on accident. Is the stream good? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? I opened Photoshop on accident. I don't know what's happening at the beginning of the stream. All right, control, all, delete. By the way, let me not show you, let me not show y'all everything that I'm fucking doing right there. Control all delete. Boom. Close Photoshop. Cause that shit that shit really about to fuck shit up. Photoshop opening? Really about to fuck shit up. Photoshop gotta close. Alright. Alright. What the fuck was I even talking about, bro, before the stream fucked up? Anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the, oh yeah, I was talking about the only things I clipped from last stream. I still need to edit shit. Oh yeah, and this shit right here, hold on. Look, look, look at the, hold on, look at my last story though. You know I'm saying? Look at my last story on the, you know what I'm saying? I posted on, on the gram and shit too though, but this was kind of a vibe though. Like, hold on, this shit right here, this first, like I didn't even realize I recorded this uh, as a part of this shit, but when her wig slips off during back shots, so you just put it on, like bro, bro's on timing. My man Caps is on timing. Mood type shit. Mood type shit. Mood type shit. Alright, my shit about to get demonetized after that. But you know, <clears throat> nice little story. Nice, nice little, nice little story right there. Nice little story. Toby making Goku and Vegeta, and Vegeta hentai. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> You're out of your mind, buddy. Get out of your mind. I'll make some motherfucking Goku and Vegeta hentai. Fuck no. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Let's go ahead and get into what we about to get into, y'all. Let's get into what we about to get into. We have a, a grand journey ahead of us <clears throat> for tonight's stream and everything. Hopefully everything is looking good, moving good again. Let's get it. <clears throat> Let's get it. Let's get it. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. That wasn't my ship. That is not my ship. When did I when did I get this? I don't remember having this. Fuck it. We got it now. Fuck it. Fuck it. Repair kit. Twin shot. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's get that twin shot. And oh, we got teeny ships too. Give me that. And then and then and then begin the voyage. Boom. Like I said, I'm not really worried about the gummy ship section, bro. I'm just doing. I'm just doing the bare minimum on that. <clears throat> I'm saying we got some. We got a solid build though. <clears throat> Even though I'm just speed running the the gummy sections. The cheese honey bun was just a prelude to Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> that shit was a prequel. <clears throat> the prequel to Kingdom Hearts 3 is crazy. Alright, how do I... Uh, I think I forgot how to play, y'all. Wait. Alright, boom. Okay, boom. <clears throat> Alright, let's just get to the world ASAP as fast as we can. No detours. No funny business. No ah-ah. Uh -uh. Let's visit that planet over there. Let's see. Oh, shit. What's that asteroid belt over there? We're not doing that. <clears throat> Hold on. What's over there, though? Where's that? <laughs> Let's go in here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This definitely... Look. All right, look. We're going to the, froz like, the frozen world, right? Like, dis like Disney's frozen. Like, with Elsa and shit, right? Like, I like this touch right here to make the... um. 
the the space scenery icy like this is really their domain so that makes me think that Elsa like just come out here and just like freeze this area <clears throat> the stream look like it's moving a little choppy but I think I think it's gonna even itself out <clears throat> Oh wait, the chat is gone again though. Hold on. I just realized that. What the fuck? Why did the chat keep disappearing? Uh, vanishing, disappearing. <clears throat> oh wait, we didn't have to fight a boss. Elsa is broken as hell. Yeah, that's all. I'm, that's all I'm thinking. Like, she, like she had to be the one to create what we just passed, right? That had to have been her to just, to just hop out us, hop off her planet, and just freeze the the atmosphere and space and shit out there <clears throat> I haven't seen Frozen in a minute and like like actually playing through it is gonna kinda like remind me of this shit like this movie lived in people's heads rent free bro like the songs and shit like this was one of the biggest movies that Disney ever made bro and I slept on it like I feel I feel like I feel like I slept on it for a while. Like, I watched it, but, like, it was, like, so hyped back then. Like, it was so fucking hyped. But I fuck with it. I'm not going to say it's the best Disney Pixar movie ever. But um, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Man, she plunged the earth into eternal winter. Or was about to. Mm. Making ice kingdoms and shit. <clears throat> Can she beat the Ice King though? No, he's <laughs> nah, Elsa probably fucking the Ice King up. Let's be honest. Elsa fucking Ice King all the way up. <clears throat> How the fuck you do goofy laugh? Oh, you? <laughs> fuck, I can't do that shit. Donald, this isn't your magic, is it? Damn, I had to ask Donald if he did this. Do you think it's the heart can Donald, so does that mean that Sora think Donald can do this? Like Donald got that type of ice power like Elsa? Because I know man's be throwing out Zeta, Zeta flares and shit. Wow. Hmm? I'm saying. He be throwing out them Zeta flares and shit. <clears throat> So Donald is really like that? Yeah, the stream is moving smooth, the game is moving smooth. So sad. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> Do you wanna build a snowman? Arendelle. I might need to rewatch Frozen 2 though. Because I seen Frozen 2. We should talk to her. But I'm not gonna lie, that shit was a blur to me. That shit was actually a blur to me. Screen Rat says she can freeze motherfuckers' hearts and minds. God damn. She can freeze people's minds. <laughs> so I gotta get, like, being in this world, I, I gotta get, like, some sort of crazy blizzard magic, right? Like, I, I should be getting Blazaga from this world, right? I got to. Like, I actually got to. Yo, it's been so long since I played this shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Um, I can level this up. I'm not really using... Oh, yeah. I, what Keyblade did I get from, um... From... I think we played the Monsters, Inc. World last. Um, remember in the first movie, I didn't use... Her powers for a while. 
Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's when um, that's when they were like young and shit, right? She was shook, like. But then she like spaz and just created that whole like ice kingdom and shit. Um. She created my nigga uh. O Olaf, right? My nigga Olaf. <laughs> my nigga Olaf. Ah oh, shit, bro. Hold up. We we about to get into it. Let me let me get my shit straight first though. Let me get this shit straight. Um I'm surprised I can't synthesize anything. Hold on, what what floor um hold up. Oh yeah, I need to level this up. I think that's yeah, that's the new one I got. Alright, so let me get that floor right there so I can level that up. I could have sworn you could buy it. Oh, wait. Yeah, it wasn't buy. Boom. I'm going to get two of them. Actually. Nah. Yeah, let me let me buy this coupon coin. I was about to spend all my money. I need to buy that coupon coin. All right. Um, How many of the X-Men she beat in? Ooh. That's a good question. I don't... I don't think she fucking with Storm, though. I don't think she's fucking with Storm. Like, can't Storm just, like, can't Storm, like, create weather? Like, she can control the weather in space or some shit. Like, she can just control any type of environment, for real. I don't think she fucking with Storm. Um, Keyblade Forge. All right, happy gear. Boom. But that X-Men 97 show, man, I need more episodes of that, bro. That shit looks amazing. And then they hinted that they um could potentially have, like, other team-ups on the show, too. Like, other superheroes besides the X-Men. And, like, they they basically teased the Spider-Man from, um, from the Spider-Man animated series on that shit, too. Like, and that was my favorite cartoon bro that spider-man show was my fate like spider-man like spider-man one was the first movie i ever saw ever and then the spider-man cartoon was like my favorite cartoon at the time and shit like that anime like that first animated jump that shit's gas so if they if they if they have him if they have that spider-man um coming to x-men 97 i'm Right there for it, bro. X-Men 97. That shit. That's some of the best animation I've seen. Like, it's it's one of them ones for real. Like, the fight choreography, the power, like, how they display the powers and shit. The, the, how the characters are. Like, the story. Like, that shit, that shit, that shit fire as fuck. I wish they dropped all the episodes. But, that shit was gas, bro. If you haven't seen that shit, watch that shit. I'm letting y'all know now. That shit is gas as fuck. And if they ever make a Spider-Man 97, nigga, it's going to be the best show ever, honestly. Honestly. Um, well, best, like, superhero show. But, um, all right, so I upgraded that. I'm, I'm thinking this is a map right here. But before I get the map, let me equip that Keyblade that I just got. Um... Let's equip it over Ever After. I love after Ever After, though. I gotta have my second form. I gotta have the second form. And Shooting Star is just... Damn, but the Ever After jump... It makes my magic go up. But my strength go down. Yeah, we keep it Ever After, bro. The Ever After Keyblade is just too solid. Like, I told y'all more, like, toward... Like, the major affiliation either way, like... They make my magic go up. I'm going to prioritize it. Um, Alright, so we got that. Did I get any accessories from last time? Any new accessories? No. Don't look like it. Um, Bro basically told us skip like five to six seasons just to watch X-Men 97. Shit, fuck. I did it. I seen I seen, a, um, I seen quite a bit of the original X-Men uh, cartoon, but I was hella young, bro. Like, like they just like the title itself 
has it. It's X Men '97. I was born in '97, so it's like, yeah, I. Some of them episodes kind of like, they're kind of like, fever dreams to me, <laughs> if I even think about it. But I do remember watching a bit of the show. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's it's like like same thing with like comic books or like movies or just stuff like that it's like it's just so much material on the x-men and like superhero shit it's like it's hard to really catch up on everything so it's like i don't mind skipping everything to go straight to x-men 97 when it comes to like superhero shows and shit like that based on like these characters that's been around since the goddamn 1800s and shit <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like i don't know but it could it could make me go back and rewatch the original shit all the way through and shit. But I'm just fucking with how it is, like, right now. That shit... That shit gas. That shit is gas as fuck. Um... Well, let me see. What do I need? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Items... Oh, did, okay. Mega Ether. Oh, we got a Dark Anklet. Okay. Alright, so. It's a good thing I checked the items. So, we got a Dark Anklet. Is that better than a Shadow? It is. It's better than a Shadow Anklet. It's better. Okay. Clutch. Clutch. Um, Menu Navigation. Because I was not good. I was about to get out the menu. But I knew I must have had something new that I haven't put on. Um... And we got Kura now. We got Kira now. Kira. Hell yeah, bro. And we got Waterer. Waterer. Is that how you pronounce it? Waterer. Alright. Wait, what happened to my set C? I could have sworn I had a set C. Hold on, wait. Do I have the Dandara? I don't have Dandara. Alright, let's go ahead and set this up. Um, I'm going to just make this a bunch of potions. I'm going to make this one a bunch of potions. Uh, what Dream say? I never actually watched the X-Men show before. I want to watch it before watching the new joint. Shit, binge away. Definitely binge away. But I'm letting y'all know right now, X-Men 97 is some of the best animation I've seen, bro. Like, it's really one of the ones. Like, like, I... I, I say the Spider-Verse movies is the best animation I've seen, like, in the past decade. Um, let me see, like, uh, certain animes, too. Some of the best, got some of the best anima animations I've seen. But X-Men 97, just how it moves, like, how it moves and, like, it kind of, it kind of looks like the, how, how it looked back then. But it's, like, it... It's something about that 3D space that they're in that you can't really put your finger on it. Like it makes it seem like it's they're in a realistic type of um a more realistic type of world. Like it got some it got some weight to their movements and shit. And that shit's tough. That's fuck. That's hell. Um, that's like skipping Dragon Ball and DBZ to watch Super. <laughs> no, it's not, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> And plus, like, I can't sit here and say people that do that is wrong or whatever the case is. Because, like, when I grew up, I started with Dragon Ball Z. I ain't have no choice. It's not like Dragon Ball was on. Dragon Ball Z was on. Like, my brother and cousins, they were watching DBZ. Like, so I kind of had to, like, catch Dragon Ball when they would re-air it or, like, Whenever I got the chance to go back and watch Dragon Ball, like, once I realized, like, oh, shit, I've seen all of Z. I've seen GT, but I ain't, I ain't watched Dragon Ball. So, it's like, some, some you can't control some things, all right? Sometimes you're going to just watch a show before watching the prequel and shit. Like, 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 I don't even get into me and my, um, my motherfucking, like, Star Wars watching history. <laughs> Like, nigga, I started off with episode three. <laughs> nigga, like, nigga. Nigga, I became a fan of Star Wars in episode three, bro. I know, I know people, I know there's people that's hella deep in Star Wars. Like, my man Fax, 
He's hella deep into Star Wars. That nigga probably know everything about Star Wars, bro. But, like, you know, like, I I just, like, for, and there's, there's people that only, that say that the, the, the prequels are trash or something like that. This, like, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not that deep into Star Wars, but I be seeing shit. Like, people be like, yeah, niggas that, niggas that like the prequels, like, they, like, the prequels are trash or just shit like that. Like, the sequels are the best or something like that. Some shit. I don't fucking know, bro. I don't fucking know. Um... Should have went on. Should have went for. <laughs> wait. Should have went on X. <laughs> yeah, you trying to piss, piss, piss me off? <laughs> see, I knew. See, I knew that would trigger trigger somebody. But it's like I couldn't help it, bro. Like that was just the first Star Wars movie. I mean, I've seen, I've seen the Empire Strikes Back, but like when I was hella young, and it's like it was just on TV randomly. But I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I played the Lego Star Wars games and shit, you know, but I didn't really get, like, I didn't really feel like I fucked with Star Wars for real until I watched episode three. Like, I fuck with Anakin hard, bro. Anakin's tough as fuck. Like, he's my favorite Star Wars character. Based off of just that one movie that I saw, like, um, but then I went back and watched some of the other movies too, though. But I haven't seen all the Star Wars movies and shit. Um, it's got that Sonic Unleashed tri treatment now. Damn, really? So it's like it's like one of them ones, but niggas underrated. Sonic Unleashed is like that, bro. Niggas try to niggas try to shade the um the the Werehog sections and shit, but it wasn't that bad. And then the regular Sonic Speed sections were some of the best. Like gameplay for Sonic, like to this day for real, to be honest. Like some of them stages are just crazy as fuck. Um, I might gotta go. I might gotta go back and re replay Sonic Unleashed and shit. I'm not gonna lie. That's one of my favorite Sonic games. Um, and refocus. Wait, high refocuser or refocuser? High refocuser. And I need to um. How do you like auto refill them now? Oh yeah, I know I'm delaying the fuck out of this, but I'm making sure that we, cause the difficulty is just gonna get higher. Like the further we get in this game, it's gonna just get harder and harder. So I'm making sure that we motherfucking suit in the booty. We got the motherfucking inventory. We got the motherfucking inventory. Um, I think we good though. Um, the Werehog. The Werehog isn't fun, and no one, like, says, I want to play as the Werehog. Yeah, but it's not like it was awful. It wasn't terrible. Like, it just had, like, very basic, like, combat mechanics for real. But it was, like, they they tried to be, like, God of War for real. Like, if you, if, I don't know if y'all, if niggas know, but they, uh, they kind of tried to make Sonic, like, cradles <laughs> on how he fought as the Werehog. So, like. Me being a God of War fan, like, I, I noticed that similarity. It wasn't like, it was terrible. It was just like, it was just like a diet, like a super duper diet God of War combat. Like, that shit was just basic as fuck. But, the like, like I said, like the speed sections and like the regular Sonic sections just made... And like the how the world was, and like the the characters of the world, like the different like sceneries, like that shit felt like that shit that shit felt like uh, damn, I got fucked up. Yeah, I gotta get back. Yeah, this shit is hard, bro. It's hella heartless. But I'm gonna let y'all know that Sonic game felt like Sonic's version of like Mario Sunshine to me. Like Mario Sunshine is my favorite Sonic game or uh, 3D Sonic game, and um. I'm not gonna say Unleash is my favorite 3D Sonic game. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die. I had to, I just had to take that first death. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I fuck with it. Like, now the question is, do I fuck with Unleashed more than Sonic Heroes? Oh nah, never mind. I can't. Sonic Sonic Heroes is Sonic Heroes is I, ah, it's close though. I'm trying to tell you the speed sections in Sonic Unleashed. I feel like it makes up a whole lot and like the environment and shit like that, like the story and shit. 
I feel like it makes up a whole lot, but Sonic Heroes, Sonic Heroes was just too, it's just too great. Like, it's just, too, like, Sonic Heroes is too iconic out here, like, uh, see, I prefer platforming Sonic, that's why I always consider Colors the GOAT. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic is, Sonic's bread and butter is platforming and shit. So, you're not, I know what you mean there. Uh, 3D sections with, uh, 2D platforming. Mario Sunshine is your favorite Sonic game? Wait, Mario, wait, did I say that? Mario Sunshine is my favorite Mario game. <laughs> Mario Sunshine is my favorite Mario game. It's my favorite 3D Mario game. Um, my favorite 2D Mario game is uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. I would say. I think one of my favorite stages is always going to be Eric Sands and Sonic Unleashed. Eric Sands, Eric Sands. Oh my fucking god. Okay, Donald. No, I actually got to tee up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. Y'all y'all hold those thoughts real quick, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. They're sniping me. They're sniping me. Do I still have my Koopa coin? I got an ISO, y'all. I got an ISO. I got an ISO. I got an ISO. Yo! I, I, bro, all that shit I did, all that Edison I did to my loadout is gone. Like, I don't even got Cura. I gotta lock in, y'all. I gotta lock in. I gotta remember I can still get hit like this, too. I can still get hit like this. Oh, yeah, we doing hella damage. Boom. Yo, why didn't I get like some sort of like cutscene or something after beating them? They were just, they were just regular heartless around here. Bro, those were just a regular heartless. I just stepped in this motherfucker. Nah, that's crazy. That shit getting difficult, y'all. This, this shit is actually getting hard. Um, I think one of my favorites. Is, oh yeah, Air Sands Act One was a day stage in, in Shamar. Rooftop run. Ah, uh, rooftop run. Crazy thing, I don't even think Sonic Unleashed, the fastest Sonic game. I think it's Sonic in the Secret Rings. Oh yeah, um, I never played that one. That was on, that was on the Wii, right? The Wii Sonic games are different, bro. All that shit I did before, bro. I gotta do that shit again. Hold on, I, I could just speed run it though. I know what I did. Let me just go ahead and upgrade. I upgraded um this twice. Right. Boom, I upgraded that twice. I equipped it over the over the shooting star. Oh no, I Was it over the shooting? Yeah, I did do it over the shooting star. Actually, let me um let me do it this way. Let me put ever after as that. Happy gear is that. I think this is how I had it. And then we had a we had a dark anklet. Um I think we were good on that. And then I need Kura. Boom. Boom. 
Oh yeah, waterer. Waterer. Boom. And then high potion. High ether. Elixir. And high refocuser. Alright, boom. Um has Sonic fight fight in a genie who was about to erase a whole multiverse. God damn. Yeah, I hear the I hear the um wasn't like Sonic in the secret rings and Sonic in the the Dark Knight or some shit, man. Yeah, them Wii games, they they turned Sonic all the way up, bro. Like bro got Excalibur and shit. Like if you know about Excalibur, you know about Excalibur, like that's that's one of them swords that's that's that ain't no play play like <laughs> that is not no play play all right um i can't go over here yet all right cool all right let me try out this new keyblade though we got that monsters in keyblade all right as long as we're not going against like them sniper type heartless oh that move was that move was tough okay goofy Hold on, this keyblade kind of decent though. Hold on, we kind of, we kind of doing our thing right now, y'all. We took that one L, now we on timing. Oh wait, that's not even a new keyblade. Yo, I'm caught. Why can't I take my potions? I'm curing myself. Fuck it. I'm not dying against these little heartless. Cause if I die, I gotta re-equip that shit again. I'm not doing that. Get him, Sora. Alright, let's see. Okay. Okay. Hold on, this keyblade tough. This keyblade tough. Oh! Nah. I like how he dodges, too. This keyblade. Bro, I just got that Koopo coin, bro. I can't be losing my Koopo coins to these low ass heartless. Uh oh. <laughs> Alpha, don't start. Alpha, chill. I'm in good condition. See, look at my look at look at Sora in the bottom right. He's smiling. Bro, is happy, bro. He's happy to be here. <laughs> We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got a Blizzard choker. Oh yeah, let's definitely. Since we're going against ice type enemies, we're definitely gonna need that, right? I right, bet. Bet that, bet that, bet that. Alright. Let's keep it moving in. Uh oh. We got some Rudolphs. Some heartless Rudolphs. Let's see what this shot lock shot lock hitting on. The yo-yos. Okay. Nah. Wait, I need to use fire. Oh, I thought I was about to die. Oh, shit. Goofy said, get him, I got him. Here you go. He trying to gaslight you, facts? <laughs> no, no. We're fine. This is fine. See, look at us. We about to get. We about to get rid of the, the heartless Rudolphs. We're, oh, there's more. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there's no way more just popped up. All right, agile claws. Uh, should I summon the pirate ship? Hold on, I want to see the with the shot. Okay, bat. Okay, okay. They're trying to take me out. Oh, it's the same shot lock. Okay. What am I magic looking like in this form? Oh. Come here. Okay. My bro, I'm actually one shot though. I'm being very risky right now, y'all. I'm being very risky. Alright, there we go. 
We're good though. See, we're fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Why can't I? Do you need MP to use your items? Because that doesn't make sense. Because, like, why would I need MP to use an elixir? If it's going to restore my MP. You know what I mean? Do I have these items? Oh, I don't. I don't have an elixir. So why did they give me the choice to... Why did they give me the choice to put it on their command deck? Am I tripping? I have a hot potion though, right? Yeah, I have a hot potion. Why can't I use them? Oh, because my health is full. Do I have a high ether? So why can't I use on my command deck? I'm not gonna lie. I'm confused on that. Maybe you just can't use them on there, but you have the choice to to put them on there. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna just use them this way then. Gotta spend money to make money. <laughs> that that is not the lesson here. <laughs> that is not the lesson here. <laughs> oh no, my snowball. I was gonna keep that for a while. Oh, we got a Damascus. Oh, wait. I have a chance to go back into uh, level my Keyblade then. Hold on. Let's go back to the um, to the uh, Moogle. I was about to call him the Koopo. Let's go back to the Moogle. Oh, I wish I had Glide. Alright, boom. Let's go back real quick. I already got that one. Did I miss any chests, though? I don't think so. I missed some money and a B-Twix stone. And some ingredients. Need them ingredients. Need them ingredients. Need that. All right. Let's go ahead and level up. Oh, we got a hungry stone. Nice. 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 We can make some other things. Nice. 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 Alright, what can we level up right now though? Um we could go ahead. Damn, I don't even know I leveled that up this much. Yeah, let's level up ever after. Hell yeah. Alright, cool. <clears throat> Alright. Now, let's continue on. Speed run, 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 you, 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 this is what they, this what they be doing, right, chat? This is what they be doing? You, Oh shit. Wait, oh shit. Bro, lock on to them, Sora. I was about to call it bro Sonic. Oh Yo. Bro, please tell me y'all don't gotta um. I gotta do that again, bro. No, they sh they should have gave me like some sort of checkpoint, bro. Please tell me y'all don't gotta like re redo my inventory, bro. Please tell me, please tell me I don't, bro. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me.
<sighs> Losing against grunts. Bro. Why the fuck are they not giving me a checkpoint, bruh? Like, do they think I just like... I like just doing this over and over again? I don't. I don't like doing this over and over again. After I defeat a wave of enemies, give me a checkpoint, bruh. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much? Is is that is that too e is that too easy of a time for critical? Let me put my shit back on, bro. Let me put my shit back on, bro. Like, 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 bro. Alright, whatever. That's basically all we need to do. I just leveled up my keyblades and shit too, bro. I gotta do this shit again. I think that's it. That's it. I get hit by any of those water moves, I'm actually dead. Yeah, Goofy. Oh my god. Damn, doing that move is risky. Damn, bro, I'm having such a hard time against these hordes of Heartless, bro. Alright, that was everybody. Cool. And we got Flare Force. Flare Force. Um... We can't go over there yet. There was a chest over here, right? Yep. Let's do Flare Force. Bro, how did that hit me, bro? Let's go.
Heal me, motherfucker. Heal me. Heal me. Bro. God damn. <laughs> what the fuck? What took him so long, bro? He's just sitting there looking at me. Just looking at me. Like Donald. I'm not trying to waste my heal. Like, you're the healer. Like, you're the healer, Donald. Like, you're the healer, bro. Like, heal me, bro. Oh, Lord. All right. Skip that. Let's get through this. We're using second form to do all this. Damn, I got hit by that. Oh my god. my Koopo coin, bro. Wait, where's that, um... Oh, here we go. Yo, it instant kills them. Yo. Yo. I hope I can't get hit during this. That was nice. I'm still on my second form. I'm like, why am I not uppercutting? That was close. Good looks, my boy Donald. I should have got on this. Like for a second time. I thought I could fall down there. Dang, I can't get on this no more? Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. That works. Hold on, let me see something. Niggas forgot my abilities. Oh shit, where'd they come from? 
Wait, if I go down, do I slide? Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, that's tough. Yo, it makes tracks in the snow, too. Almost didn't realize that. The Klondike kid. Wait, what's over there? Oh, we came from over there, right? Pretty sure. Let's climb back up. Am I going the right way? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's a save point over here, too. Let's go. Let's go. Hair starting to itch and shit. Why are you here? Where did you come from? Hi, I'm Sora. And I... Uh, I'm from... Let's just say... Someplace... A little warmer. Someplace warmer. Hey, I'm goofy. And I'm goofy. Are you visiting Arendelle? For the coronation? Huh? Uh... Um... You got us. <laughs> so, what's your name? Elsa. Queen Elsa of Arendelle. What? The queen? <laughs> you shouldn't be out here. Please go back to the village. Why? Your Majesty, you look like you could use a friend. Don't you want to talk? W Riz. Please leave. I need to be alone. I don't want you to look like you could use a friend. See, I'm gonna use that one oh. right there, so I <laughs> look like bad? you can use a friend. You must have been through a lot. <laughs> she ain't my queen, Elsa a Dom. Elsa's a Dom. <laughs> I bet she is. Exactly. Although, Donald, you do lose your temper. All that crazy-ass power she got. I bet she is a dom. I don't do that. Enough! Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. She really is. That's dom behavior. Elsa, did you... She tried to kill them, them guys. My man Goofy always ready to square with some heartless. Don't worry, we got him. Take cover. Yo, I didn't know about him. Oh shit! Don't hit me. Oh, he missed. How did he miss? I didn't know about him, bro. Oh nah. I'm not fucking with this at all. Do you re do you react to requests? Oh my god, bro! As soon as I took eyes off screen, yeah. Um, if you got something you want me to react to, you could definitely let me know in the chat. I react to something in between battles and shit, in between fucking deaths and shit. I could do some reactions in between shit. Goofy got PTSD from the Unverse. <laughs> I see. My man Goofy is not playing. Naruto Monus video? Naruto Monus video. Alright, I got you. Give me one second. Oh, yeah. Like that, Donald. Hold on, this guy got hella health, bro. He got hella... That's not where I wanted to go, Sora. Please. Do do some damage, please. Give me my second form. 
Oh, that dodge. Boom. Oh, I thought I... Oh, I thought I made him do that. I thought I did something good. He over there powering up. Karaza. Fuck it. I need that. Why is he red? Oh! Alright, let's react to something. <laughs> if you could do Tales of Toronto emoji, it's a rapper over your affiliate. W video trust. You can check the first five minutes and cancel if you want. Alright, that's a bet. I'm gonna react to uh Naruto Mona's video that Fax put up, and then I'm gonna react to um Tales of Toronto. I got y'all. Alright, let's see. Uh, 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 wait. I boom. Uh, Naruto Monus. Naruto Monus. Did I say that right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> You're hilarious for this, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You're hilarious as fuck for this. <laughs> it's already... Look, it's already 40 seconds in, bro. It's, it's already 40 seconds in for me. That's how, you, that's how you know. That's how you know I'm a, I'm a real nigga, bro. That's like, this shit came out 16 years ago. This shit was already 40 seconds in, like... <laughs> hey, I'm weak as fuck, bro. <laughs> if you know, you know, bruh. Motherfucking dick. <laughs> suck my motherfucking dick, dick. Suck my dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. <laughs> with a smile on his face. <laughs> with, a, with a smile on his face. <laughs> Yo. The certified banger. This is a hood classic. A certified hood Naruto classic, bro. Yo, Tehinata. <laughs> bro, 16 years ago, bro. This is like one of the first like AMVs I've ever seen in my entire life. The foreshadow. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said it's foreshadowing. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> Yo. Now, nah, honestly, this is, this is, if you think about it, this was Naruto, like, plot summed up. Him telling everybody to suck his dick. Like, <laughs> get the fuck out of my face. I'm going to do whatever the, whatever the fuck I want. Suck my dick. And he did it, bro. That's Naruto. This is Naruto in the eggshell. This is Naruto in the eggshell. <laughs> Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my dick. Suck my motherfucking... <laughs> nah, replaying it is crazy, bro. Bro, this shit is three minutes long and this nigga saying this shit. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, good music, good lyrics, good video, perfect combo. W. Sasuke smiles at the end. Hold on, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> they stupid as fuck. They're stupid as fuck for pointing that out. <laughs> they dumb as hell, bruh. They're dumb as hell, bruh. They're dumb as hell. <laughs> Wait, what's the oldest comment, y'all? Damn, I can't go to the oldest comment. Fuck. Come on, YouTube. Fix your filters, bruh. Let, let, niggas fil let niggas filter shit like that. You got top comment. You got newest comment. Filter the oldest comment, bruh. Come on, YouTube. Like, I'm not a fan of Naruto, but this is hilarious. I bet bro is a fan now. If we ask my man a darker link, we, we need to get a darker link on the pod, y'all. If we ask a darker link now if he's a fan of Naruto, I bet he'll say yeah. I bet he'll say yeah, bruh. I bet I bet this video actually made him a fan. Imagine we go in here, he got a whole like not why I love Naruto video on his channel. 
He's a, he's a doll hard now. <laughs> bro be getting Lydia with smash though. Bro be getting Lydia with smash. Hold on. I'm about to click on one of these random videos and see see if bro like that. Sonic elevator fail. Y'all know I'm a Sonic main and shit. Let's see. Let's see how he does Sonic right here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see how he get with Sonic, y'all. It said he did an elevator fail, though. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Try to go for the juggle. Spin dash into the kick. We love it. Try to get the back hit. Okay, the little dive hit. Boom. Combo. Yeah. He, try, he getting on sensor kicks now. This Oh, this match four? Oh, so I didn't even realize. So he, he got the uh, your two slow taunt then. Wish they should have had an ultimate, but hey, it's cool. The, don't put one of the most iconic Sonic lines in the game. It's fine. It's all right. Sonic fans aren't going to ride or anything. <laughs> Look at me being butthurt over a taunt. Well, anyway. Ooh. Okay. He tried to get him. Where's the elevator? Kind of make me want to play Smash. No bullshit. Oh. Oh, a darker link. Oh, wait. Is he Shulk? Wait, is he Shulk? No, he said Sonic. This is Sonic elevator fail. So he got to be Sonic, right? Bro's playing local too, right? This means that he playing with his, with his nigga or his homie or something. Because he ain't got no usernames and shit. Right? Okay. He's 43%. He's 6%. Is there going to be is there going to be a clutch here? Is this clutch time? Oh, we tried to get the grab. Shulk is moving shiest. Okay, he got the grab. Oh. Oh, just uh, Oh, that's a great block. Great throw. Oh, try to get the the up air. Grab, back throw. Try to get the back kick. Grab, back throw. Got the back kick. Oh. Hold up. This comeback is crazy. Oh, that counter. Oh. Come on, bruh. Don't don't do don't let Sonic don't do Sonic like this, bruh. Don't do Sonic like this. Oh, try to go for the down. Oh, brother, brother, you lost to a nigga in his draws with Sonic. I would never, I would never. <laughs> why am I here? <laughs> why, why am I on this video? <laughs> anyway, all right, that was that. I, right, um, I right, boom. And then we had, um. Then we had Toronto Moji. He said he's OVO affiliated. Toronto Moji. Did I do that right? Toronto Mo G. Toronto Mo G. It's not. It's not popping up. Um, is it on YouTube? Elks October 2015 game pickups. Oh, tells. Let me put. To, I'm stupid. Tells of Toronto. I read the. I read. I forgot to tell. Tells. Okay. Tells of Toronto. I tried to put like the artist. Moji is the artist. Okay. Tells of Toronto. Damn, what the fuck? A 56 minute goddamn quiet on set documentary. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, which one which one ought to watch? OT87? This young right here? Cause I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I'm not messing with the 56 minutes, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, oh wait, he did say skip around though, right? You can check the first five minutes. Oh he said the first five. Alright, so let's check let's check the first five of this. 
We'll 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 wa- we'll watch it. We'll, hold on, we we gonna have a little we gonna have a little segment right here. We'll we'll watch it and see like see where it goes and shit. The tales that we might we might got ourselves a movie, y'all. We might got ourselves a movie. Who knows? Hold on, let me open up my volume mixer and turn Kingdom Hearts down. I right, boom. Beloved figure in Toronto from creating what many refer to as the unofficial anthem for the streets of the six. To working with the likes of Drake at just 18 years old, he was destined for Moji. He had the bars, the charisma, and the connections, but no more than five years after entering the scene, he self destructed. On today's episode of Tales of Toronto, we're gonna take this is such a random request, by the way. <laughs> Why did you all of a sudden want me to react to this OT87? But we're here, fuck it. Yo, what happened to, what happened to Moji? What happened to Moji? First one, you can cancel whenever they, uh, oh, you said the first one. Okay, yeah, we on the first one. Why is the chat so delayed right now? Is the chat delayed for y'all? Yo, this shit is a movie. Better known by his stage name, OG, proudly represents the downtown Toronto neighborhood of Regent Park. When he was two, his parents relocated him and his eight siblings from Jane and Finch. Up to you, Council, whenever? I bet that. First and largest Canadian housing project. He grew up on Sutton Avenue, which was once predominantly Somali and working class, just like his parents. The block might look familiar to some because it's been home to several hit movies, TV shows, and even award winning music. It's from The Boys? Despite its rich history, Oh, that's what I gotta watch too. I think I'm gonna start watching the bo- the boys um very soon, y'all. Very soon. I'm caught up with Invincible right now. I gotta start the boys. Tensions reached a boiling point when hundreds of residents and police officers clashed in what is now known as the riot in Regent Park. The chaos didn't stop there, as a number of local street gangs were formed to deter the police from re-entering the neighborhood, and according to some residents, it worked. Unfortunately, as the years progressed, tension between 51 division officers and Regent Park residents only got thicker. In fact, this was one of the few reasons Mo G dropped out of school at just 10 years old. What the fuck? At 10 years old? Drops out in the fourth grade? What? Huh? When uh when they bring a cop to a classroom when you're a little kid and and then the cops just in the classroom looking at us like yo I'm gonna pack when you guys grow up. You know what I'm That's happened to me at school. That's why I dropped out of school when I was ten years old. You see when I said I dropped out when I was in grade four, this really happened. Mentally I left school at the age of ten. You know why? Because they got fed to the school. Violation. You know what I'm saying? Super violation. You know what I'm saying? So guess what I did? I just a whole classroom class. I went to the mosque right across the street. And never came back to square again. Okay, you see what you're saying? What? Yeah. Except for a two week stint at the age He talks really well for someone that dropped out in the fourth grade. Rather, he still seems pretty educated, though. But that's crazy. Getting that street education. Street education and all that comes with it. Rapping in basements, hustling in the streets. As the fourth grade, 10 years old? That same street education also helped catapult him into stardom before he even turned 18. Yo, he had the bun, the bunnies. Had the bunnies on the jet. During his teen years, Moji spent a significant portion of the early part of the day alone at home either asleep or lounging. His nights, however, were a different story. They were long, spontaneous excursion-filled nights that start at one place, like a Raba, and end up in another, like a studio. It's out of this lifestyle that eight years ago, Moji was born through his best-known song, Still by the Raba. An unofficial anthem for the streets of Toronto, the song speaks of moving product and the Raba, among other things. When explaining how the hit record came about, Lava. OG says he went home and told his brother to turn on his phone and record him freestyling. 
Loaded with cash and excited, he then went to his friend's house and roasted all of them one by one. As Moji remembers it, I gave everyone a hot 16, making fun of them. Later that night, he would go on to write Spill by Dorabo with his childhood friend, Smoke Dog, using an instrumental he found on YouTube and the bars he freestyled earlier that day. Fast forward to October 4th, 2014. The music video was recorded and uploaded on YouTube. It gained over 100,000 views before Moji took it down out of respect for his best friend Ano. Chief Ano. Two days after the video was released. In an interview with MTV News back in 2016, Moji explained the reason behind taking the video down. He's smoking and drinking in the video. I'm a spiritual guy. You know, I don't like his family seeing that. I was holding Camry in my hand. And if this I for them young bucks. people seeing that, you know what I'm saying? That stuff is going to burn me in hell. What's good, Sensei? We watching, we watching some Toronto history right now, y'all. We watching some Toronto history right now. Parliament on October 6, 2014, for the sound of gunshots, 18-year-old Yusuf Ali was taken to hospital with multiple gunshot wounds where he later died. The suspect, who was wearing all black with a hoodie, was last seen heading north on Regent Street. So investigators will provide an update for us at 10.30 this morning. Y'all watching it. Yusuf Ali, often referred to as Ano by loved ones, was described by I'll tune in after it's done. as a peacemaker and a community leader. Say that, say that, say that. He's bridged a lot of different relationships. People knew him and he was kind, no matter who you were. Before entering high school, Ano had been captain of multiple sports teams and even won an Athlete of the Year award. But as he entered grade 9 at Jarvis Collegiate, it became harder for him to stay focused. Soon, he began skipping school nearly every day with his best friend, Moji and was completely caught up in the negatives of Regent Park. During the early 2000s, hustling in the streets of Regent Park came with a price. As previously mentioned, the block was plagued by senseless gun violence. But what most Damn. people know was that a lot of it arose from internal gang I need to find some more wild videos for you. Hey, uh, y'all suggest some videos, man. We doing some reactions, we doing some reactions. Playing some Kingdom Hearts as well. Internal cleansing. Kingdom Hearts and like reactions in between and shit. Had anything to do with the internal gang disputes within his community, but based off I got some stuff lined up to react to as well. Probably just a little bit later on. But yeah, y'all send me shit. You just started streaming? I started an hour ago. Fifteen-year-old Anno was walking with two of his friends in an alleyway near Queen and Parliament Street at approximately 2:45 p.m when he was shot in the back multiple times by a lone gunman. Toronto police quickly obtained surveillance footage in the surrounding area and what they managed to find shocked them. First, cameras caught the lone gunman following Ano through several different laneways for at least five minutes in a very determined fashion before opening fire. In addition to this, the two friends who witnessed the entire incident unfold were left unharmed, suggesting Ano was the intended target of the brazen daylight assassination. After further investigation, Damn. The firearm used in the killing was found to be linked to one other offense that occurred in a different part of the city, but that still wasn't enough information to link officers <coughs> to a city. The city's chief of police at the time, Mark Saunders, placed a $50,000 reward for any information leading to the killer. 50k on his head? A 50k bounty? This day, Ano's murder is still unsolved. What the fuck? In his 2016 MTV interview, Moji detailed how the incident impacted him. In one instance, he had to take out Ano's braids to prep him for his weight, and while doing so, he'd seen the bullet holes in the back of his head. It was Ano who Moji skipped school with every day. It was Ano who was bumping still by the rabba everywhere he went, and it was Ano who told Moji to pursue his dream of rapping. Nearly a year after Ano's untimely passing, still was re-uploaded by a fan. This time, it didn't take off right away, because the scene was now dominated by a new rap collective based out of the backyard of Regent Park, otherwise known as the Esplanade. Hmm. Bro, this shit is a movie, y'all. 
Boys Wait, it says Oliver L. Cowtib sends still to Drake. Rap group consisting of three members, Donnie, G. Wiss, and Jimmy Prime. Most may recognize Jimmy as the one who coined the now widely used term, the Six, as a nickname for Toronto. It the is Six? The city's six boroughs and area codes, 416 and 647. The term was created while Jimmy was brainstorming with Drake's manager, Oliver L. Cadet. The two knew each other since 2014 and would often collaborate on projects together. One of them was Jimmy Prime's single, Northside. On the set of the music video, Oliver was there providing creative assistance. There too was Safe Muzad, better known by his stage name, Safe. Safe is also an Esplanade native who at the time was just an aspiring artist posting his tunes on SoundCloud. Oliver would invite him to attend the opening of OVO's Toronto pop-up store where he was asked if he wanted to work steadily at the newly opened boutique. And as expected, Safe pounced at the opportunity. As he spent more time around the shop, his relationship with Oliver continued to strengthen. This is when he took the chance to introduce Oliver to not only his own music, but his friend Mo G's as well. Oliver seemed to like Still by the Rabba so much he sent a track to Drake, and soon after, all of the pieces needed to become a star came together naturally for Mo G. March 25th, 2015, the rise of Mo G begins here, after Drake posted a clip of Still to his Instagram, captioning it, Ginobili dance all summer. Although the music video was deleted for a second time, it was re-uploaded again on July 27th, 2015, and it still managed to earn impressive numbers. Three days later, Smoke Dog released his hit single, Trap House. That same day, Drake's highly publicized beef with Philadelphia-based rapper Meek Mill would reach its peak after Drake dropped Back to Back, a diss track that sent the hip-hop world in a frenzy. <laughs> ah, shit, man. Charged up and Back to Back... Damn, that was a crazy time, bro. That was a crazy time in the music scene. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. That, like, the the memes, like the memes were just so crazy. Like, Meek got dragged for like two years, bro. Two straight years. Anything this man posted, bro. Niggas was posting motherfucking batteries and motherfucking diamonds in this comment section. <laughs> like, owls and shit. Like, like the like the OVO cartel go crazy, bro. The the OVO steppers go crazy, bro. <laughs> like, charged up and back to back. Nigga. That shit had my whole school turned. Like, <laughs> nigga, nigga, what the fuck? That's all the niggas is motherfucking playing, like. Like, we going back to back. Like, this nigga had memes at his concert, bro. But one of the one of the greatest rap beefs ever, bro. Honestly. Um. Yeah. Fast forward a month. What a fucking time, right? What a time. For his hit single, Energy was released. As he said, Ah, Energy is one of my favorite songs. Right and center. Drake can also be seen doing a rather unique dance. One Moji had innovated. Called the Genova. Ah. If the dance seems familiar, it's because it's a special drill rapper, Lil J. Uh, hold on. Okay. He would later reference the Genova in his hit song, Jumpman, featuring Future. And I'm just living my life hand up like, woo! That track would later be released on their collaborative mixtape, What a Time to Be Alive. So is this just another case of Drake? S stealing other people's shit and all this. <laughs> no, no. Platinum. Within a year of entering the rap game, Moji had officially been co-signed by the biggest rapper in the world. This was huge, not just for him, but for Toronto's music scene as a whole. The consistent support from the boy shined a light on a scene that was waiting for the perfect moment to erupt, and that it did. Oh yeah, this song was vibey. Throughout the remainder of 2015, Moji, Smoke Dog, and Safe would have earned significant airtime on Drake's radio station, OVO Sound Radio. The three friends would then join forces to form their own rap collective called Halal Gang, alongside their two Facts. other musically inclined friends, 
Puffy L's, and Mustafa the Poet. Fast forward to December, Safe was hosting his debut album release party at the iconic entertainment venue, Mod Club, and would bring the gang with him. The since closed establishment had a reputation for hosting artists before their rise to stardom. The weekend. Nah. reputation remained true. The OVO sponsored event featured a star studded lineup. From Prime Boys to Ram Riddles, nearly every artist at the event were at the peak of their careers, which made for one hell of a show. To close in historic fashion, Safe decided to have the song of the year performed live for the very first time. Moji completely shined that night. Shit's tough. That shit was tough. Stage, his energy was infectious, spreading throughout the crowd. Although he wasn't at the show, Drake caught wind of the monumental night from his OVO brethren who were in attendance and decided to upload two congratulatory Instagram posts. The first one was captioned, Starboy from the sixth side, Ano Gang, big up safe for selling out my club. Wish I was there to see the guy shine. The second photo was captioned, Ginobili all summer like I said I would. Rest in peace, Ano. The pieces for a monumental career came together organically for Moji, who naturally motivated and hungry for more, would spend the remainder of the year in and out of studios across the city, producing his debut EP. With the help of Drake, who reportedly helped fund the project, Our Boy was released just 10 days into the new year. It featured three songs, including the classic, Wiggins, a tribute to the Toronto-bred Golden State Warriors small forward. Also on the EP Yo. was a song called Mind Symphony, an anthem dedicated to his fallen friend, Anno. Even with all that's begun to manifest for Moji, his life and his thoughts all seem to pivot on Anno, and more specifically on Anno's death. Moji didn't manifest any of this by being prayerful. He never thought Drake would co-sign him or that his best friend would die. All of the variables in Moji's life and career trajectory were out of his control. We've seen many rappers come before him, just as eccentric and dynamic, but their stars tend to dim and fade out. Perhaps what sets Moji apart is all his grief, all his heart. A little over two weeks after releasing his debut EP, Moji would receive yet another shout out from the boy, but this time he was direct. January 30th, 2016, Drake would name drop Moji on Summer 16, ah, Summer 16. a single that was reported to be on his upcoming album, Use. The name drop was huge, mainly because the record. Yeah, that song did not. That Views. song was not on Views, by the way. I wish that it was, because Summer 16 was one of them ones, like, like I said, like, that, what, what a time, bro, what a time. Hot 100. What a time. 215,000 downloads in its first week. These sales became the highest debut sales of Drake's career. For Moji at this point, Drake wasn't some elusive <laughs> figure of Toronto, or the sixth god, as some would refer to him as. Instead, he referred to Drake as a big brother. Two months after the release of Summer 16, Moji would talk in depth with MTV about Drake's impact on not just his career, but Toronto's music scene as a whole. Alright, my man OT87 said, um, five minutes. I gave it 16. I gave it 16. Um... I'm not gonna watch the whole thing here, but okay, I see, I see the type of impact that Moji has had, though. Like, I, I guess not many people really realize, like the the type of influence and impact this man has really had, but especially on Drake, like to have, like Drake, probably the biggest artist. Uh, I mean, definitely one of the biggest artists ever and whatnot. Like, really vibe with your music, vibe with your sound and shit. That shit different. Getting that Drake cosign is different, y'all. That shit can give you can get you some noctis. Like <laughs> getting the Drake cosign can get you some noctis, nigga. Like <laughs> Okay. But I right, okay. Hey, w, w video right there. W video suggestion from my man OT eighty seven, brother. I'm saying we gonna mess with some more reactions. Um in a little bit. I got some things I wanted to react to as well. Um that we're gonna tap into. 
in a little bit as well. But let me get back to, to this motherfucking cage, bro. Let me get... I don't, I don't even remember how I died, bro. What, what, I hope I don't have to start at the beginning, bro. Please. I'm, I think I'm at a, at a checkpoint, though. He removed it. You'll see why. Wait, he removed what? My bad. The chat's a little bit delayed. I don't know why, though. Because, um... Oh, I died against this thing. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm actually dead. I'm... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Did I miss him? Oh, one of his health bars is down. Good looking, they whooped his ass. Wait, they beat they beat Moji ass? Keep watching. Shit, I might have, I might have to tap back in on the um on the Moji John whatnot though. That shit is an actual movie. They end up beefing. Who Drake and Drake and Moji? What the fuck? Oh <laughs> Wait, so so Drake beat Moji ass? Is that what you're saying? Damn, they was just hit he was just hitting the Ginobili. What the left what the left hand? I gotta beat this shit, bro. That shit didn't do no fucking damage, bro. That shit did no damage, bro. That shit did no damage. There we go. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. I gotta lock in. Let's go. Bro, this heartless has this heartless has hella health. Hella health. How did that hit me? Some good damage. How are you still alive? Oh my god. What's he doing? How did Donald... What? Bro, I'm so close. That is not the only ether I got, bro. They be lying. 
They be lying. That is not the only ether I have. Fuck it, dude. All excellence until that happened. <laughs> Let's go. He didn't get paid for being in an OVO sweatshop. He ended up crashing out, exposing Drake like Q Miller. Oh. Damn, that's crazy then. I didn't even know about all that. Elsa, are you okay? And the OVO sweatshop is crazy. I've heard I'm about sorry, the OVO sorry. sweatshop. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I thought it was just a joke though, but damn. That shit is fucked up. That's amazing. You can control ice. Control it. And I getting paid. No, and you're and you're on OVO sound. Hurt it's crazy. It's okay. Those were if that is the case. You said that word before. What are they? Monsters that are after people's hearts. Wherever they go, there's trouble. They're after people's hearts. People's hearts. Yes, they're dangerous. You should head home before it gets any worse. This is my home now. I can't go back. I don't want to hurt anyone. What? Arendelle is safer with me staying up here. Not safer for you. Damn. Well, fuck me then, I guess. She'll be okay. Seems like she's pretty strong. Hello, Sean. She wants to be alone. Yeah, I hear you. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Nah, I'm gonna do my own. Ah, uh, this bit. This bit right here. The organization code. You knew? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, yeah. You forgot. Yep. The name's Larkseen. This time, remember. And we'll take care of Elsa. So don't you worry. Uh... Do you... She seems to think she knows us, so maybe we should play along. <laughs> Not unless her name's Tara. Excuse me, I'm right here. <clears throat> oh. Did someone just not tell Sora about the Castle Oblivion thing? No one's gonna hurt. Like, to this day, he We're doesn't know. To put up with your meddling. Stay here and behave yourself. Yo. Why her lightning power is so good? Wait, what is she creating? Wait, the ice. It's going to wall us in. Ice is so not my style. Oxine! <laughs> Hmm. Well, we got Lark scene here. Let's see how this goes. Wait, she did all of that? What the fuck? And she said ice isn't her style? But she did all that? Larkseen promised not to hurt her, but I trust those guys as far as I can throw them. Huh? Clearly. She's not good at ice, but trap me in this... This Lambra. We'll freeze if we don't find a way out. What the fuck? 
Did she create this or like was this like underground or some shit or like I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure how this happened just now, not gonna lie. I can't do anything up here. Yep. I don't have a map anymore. Okay, that has money. Love that. I need to put that uh, air combo plus on. Wait, what just hit me? Alright, cool. Let me put that air combo plus on. Oh, air combo boost. Never mind. Increases aerial combo damage in proportion to the length of the combos. I need that. Um, anything new? Anything new? Any new items? Got a mega ether. I got some um, synth synthesis materials. All right, cool. Wait, I could have sworn. And then it I, I get to like a cutscene and there was like a save point. Did I ever save it? Fuck it. We ball. We keep it moving. Fuck it. We ball. Fuck it. We ball. Why can't I air stuff though? I wish this transformation would heal me because it seems like it makes a healing of sound effect. Level 25 now, nice. This is kind of overkill, but hey. Cool. Wait, I kind of went on this, went to this, uh, went this way on accident. Oh wait, hold on. It's a lucky emblem. Man. Is this where I'm supposed to go, or is this like a side area? Oh. Can I climb up this? I can't. How do I get this chest? Huh. Could have sworn I saw something right here.
Oh wait, I can uh, I can do like the super jump and shit. I'm tripping. Can I do it twice? I can't do it twice. Um, if I did it right here, I can get right there, right? Damn. Oh wait, what if I like... It stops me. Okay, hold up. Maybe that's not even how you're supposed to get up here, but I think I can get up here. Oh, uh, why didn't it... Ooh, I'm nice with it. Ooh, I'm nice with it. Ooh, I'm nice with it. Got the map. Need that. I don't even think you were supposed to do all that. That's the only thing about this. You dodge and then attack your sitting duck. I wish I wish I move hit multiple enemies. Ah, uh, that's tough. 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 I fucking hate it. Let me see. Alright, well, we've been streaming for two hours. Um, I don't want to stream for that long tonight because I do got to work tomorrow and shit. Um, but I do want to react to a few things before I go. Um, we do kind of have a checkpoint right here. So if I were to continue, I should still be right here for next time. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just transition to do these like final reactions that I want to do. Um, cause I want to post like some of these reactions on the channel and shit. So we're going to mess with that. Um, but for now, let me go ahead and close KH. And we should be good. All right. So we about to go to my watch later and react to some things that I have, um, lined up and shit. Why did I relaunch? No one told you to relaunch. All right. My watch later. All right, so you got. I still never seen the gameplay for the this game, the Captain America and uh Black Panther game. Still haven't seen it. Um, I need the. I had did a reaction with my man Facts on the Tenkaichi Four or Sparkin Zero newest trailer. Um, but I kind of fucked up my end. Um. So let's let's look at this another time here then. I fucked that shit up, bro. Um one Toronto track. Alright, I got you, I got you, I got you after this and shit. Um Let me see. I wanna go. I just sub. Hey, I appreciate you, my guy. I appreciate that. My guy OT87. Uh, but I got you with that video or that song in a second. Let me see. I want to go to the, I want to go to the trailer where they show Goku and Vegeta fighting too. Let me make sure I go to the right one. Uh, I guess it is just this one straight up. All right, y'all. When is get? I'm letting y'all know right now. If you watch my channel, you're very familiar with me being a big old Dragon Ball Dragon Ball fan, Dragon Ball Z fan, and whatnot. 
when this game comes out, this is all that we're going to be seeing on the channel, bro. This is it, man. This is going to be this is going to be the thing. Tenkaichi 3, Budokai 3. Like there's some of my favorite games ever, bro. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love the games and to see the Tenkaichi series return and to be something like this about what we're about to see is is amazing. It's amazing. Like the game looks way better than I could have ever imagined, bro. Okay, they don't show like the first trailer and whatnot, but we got we got the new gameplay stuff like a little bit later on, like right here. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. And they got the English voices right here. That's a, that means that's really deep into development, then, right? Like, bro, look at this shit, bro. It's so fast and snappy. Yo, like the teleport, the teleporting is just on. Like, v Goku tried to do that smash attack. Vegeta was out it. Like, it's so fast. Like, the gameplay, is, like, it's literally like you're watching a, f like you're watching the fucking show, bro. It's so fucking fast. Like, Vegeta teleported immediately. Like, it's even, it's hard to catch certain things. Like, look at that. Like, he was right behind him. All right, he got it off right there. Like, we got the environmental damage. The auras look amazing. It looks just like the show. The combat is just like the show. The special attacks is just like the show. Like, we got the clothing and the hair moving ever so gracefully. Ever so gracefully, Vegeta has damage now. Your clothes get damaged, like, as soon as you get hit by some sort of key attack. It's not based solely on just, like, your health being low. It's like you get hit by the key attack, and then you're battle damage. It's so realistic to the show, bruh. There's also two stages of battle damage. There's two stages? Sheesh. So, like, the second stage will be Goku, like, with his shirt off and shit, and, like, Vegeta with his shirt off, right? Even melees get you scratches? Wow. They went all out then. They really did. They really did. Got the transformations. Goku to Super Saiyan Blue is a cutscene. The stance, like... To transform and to like have a pose like right after. Like, come on, man. That's clean as fuck, bro. That's clean as fuck, bro. Now Goku fights different as Super Saiyan Blue. Like, he's throwing a lot more heavier looking attacks. Like, and I, you know, like, y'all know the skill set changes too. Like, that punch you can't do in base form, I'm pretty sure. Um,. Got the deflex. Vegeta goes Super Saiyan Blue. Like this, like this feels like watching the uh, the CGI section in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Like this shit really feel like you're watching a mo a Dragon Ball movie, bro. The gameplay is so damn clean. Yo. Uh, <laughs> bro, that shit is so satisfying, bro. That shit is just so satisfying. And then you charge all the way up and it changes the weather. What the fuck, bro? Like, did Demps develop this? De Demps developed this, right? Demps. What type of bag was y'all in to be doing all this, bro? What type of bag y'all is in, bro? Shit is actually peak. It's actually peak, bro. It's actually peak. 
Me and Facts, man, we making hella content on this game right here, y'all. Hella content is coming from this game right here, bro. Why do y'all know, bro? Like, shit is, shit is gonna go goddamn ballistic, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Like, like they just dropping the best anime game ever. Like, like it's, it's, there's no, there's no debate. Like, this passes every single eye test. Like, I know it's, going, it's a little bit different than actually playing the game, but just, like, seeing how the game plays, you can just tell that they perfected everything that they've ever done with Tenkaichi, bro. They perfected it. Like, they perfected it, bro. Spike, Chunsoft, are the devs? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, Spike. I'm tripping. Yeah, Demps is for Budokai. Spike is for Tenkaichi. Spike. Tell me this shit don't look like Xenoverse 3. Bruh. No, bro. It's different. Xenoverse is way different. Like, how Xenoverse plays is entirely different. Like, Xenoverse fighting mechanics, not, not, I, like, to this day, not even touching Tenkaichi 3, in my opinion, bro. Like, in my opinion, like, it just, like, it's more akin to, like, a, a 3D fighting game, but Tenkaichi is, like, how a Dragon Ball Z, like, how a Dragon Ball Z game, how you would fight in a Dragon Ball Z game, like, if that makes sense. I got Nappa. Yo, are we back? 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 Well, I think we good now. I think we good. All right, anyway. Back to back to peak. Back to peak now. All right, bro. Let me pause this real quick, bro. It looked like the stream is back good. We back a little nuke never hurt nobody. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> The fucking video keeps stopping though, like. Damn, we was thooming with this video, bruh. We were thooming. I'm trying to see the purple comet attack, bruh. I'm trying to see the purple comet attack. Alright, we back good, we back good. All right, here we go. All right, but yeah, like I was saying, like this could just straight up be a what if, um, a what if story in the game. There we go. There we go. All right, so we got Super Saiyan Kill, Berserk, Super Saiyan Broly, full power. All right, so they they saying that um, her against Berta isn't a what if, but. Like, right here, that might have been a random battle. But Broly versus Kale could just... See, look. People are saying that this is straight up a cutscene. Like, this is straight up... Like, this is straight up a cutscene. Like, this could... Like, this is potentially like a cutscene in a what if story and shit. Um, I had guessed um, when I was watching the video with facts... That um, it could be a cutscene unless there is like another mechanic in the game where you know you have the beam clashes. But what if like the you know this video was titled "Power versus Speed," right? Or the theme of it was "Power versus Speed." So like, what if this is what happens when two powerhouses, like two power type characters, like clash with their like assault super attack? Maybe there's like a um, like a like a instead of a beam struggle, it's like a like a this type of struggle right here. Um, but there is no HUD, so it's like, we can't see, like, if you got to tap triangle or, like, tap a button or, like, do whatever the case is, but it could, it could be a mechanic like that, or it could just straight up be a what if story, and it seems like this is a cutscene, like, what if cutscenes go crazy, will go crazy, I'm saying, and we got Hito-sama, 
Young Hito Sama, Young Hito Sama, Young Hito. Well, even Hit has some dialogue with Broly, though. Like, it looks like we awakened some bona fide monster. Like, what if this is straight up just a what if, like, what if Broly attacked Universe 6 or some shit? Like, bro, what the fuck, bro? I, my, my mind could just go anywhere with what we're seeing here on the, um, on this shit, bro. What, and the dreaded wish list now, bro. We need that shit now. Stop, bro. Please, bro. We need this shit now, 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 bro. <sighs> but, you know, still waiting on that. This shit got 2 million views in 4 days, bro. Like, god damn, bro. It's over 9,000, bro. It's over 9,000, bro. This, this is going to be one of the best games to drop of the year, bro. If it drops 2024, it's by far going to be... One of them ones, bro. 2025, it don't even matter. It's going to be one of them ones. Like, whenever this shit drop, it's going to be one of them ones, bro. Especially if you're an anime fan. Especially if you're a Dragon Ball fan. This shit is actually peak. It's actually peak. Um, Alright, so OT87 did have a, a song for us. It's called Dovey Nightmares Part 2. Alright, so let's check this out. Dovey Nightmares... Part two. It's, he said part two. Oh, yeah, this says two. Okay. Roman numeral two. Roman numeral two. I thought they were like brackets for a second. All right, so let's see what this is about. Let me know if it's a WL chat. Let me know if it's a WL. It seems Bobby so far. Okay. Okay. My man is strong with the auto tune. He got, he got some bars though. Got some flow. This shit is vibey. Fuck the apps. Is this some more Toronto shit? OT87? Is this some more Toronto shit? Y'all Toronto guys, man. OT7, you from Toronto and shit? <laughs> that was a nice little bop, though. Nice little bop. Nice little bop. That came out three years ago. Elevated ever since he caught the, the legs. Success. This man is straight talent. 18, been through more than anyone. Real shit is pure. Yeah, that shit was a bop. It was a nice little bop. King B and W the Golden Duo. This one was calm. He dropped this for his ops. Okay, okay. Okay, young Dovey. Alright then. Alright then. Right, let me see. What else I had on my watch later? Um. Let me see. I know I got a few videos before we cap things off and whatnot. Alright, so we reacted to the Spark and Zero jump. Um. I did have like. I don't think I had that much to react to. But, um, oh, I wanted to react to this, too. 
Kingdom Hearts anime uh, day 350 uh, five, day 358 part one. Yeah, I wanted to react to this. It's a little bit longer, but let's see. Let's see what it's about. This has gone on long enough. Riku. Shout out to Kylo. I think you know what needs to be done. Right. I'll see how this goes. I love 358 Days so much. Seeing fan animations about it, I'm all here for it. I hope that, I really hope, I really truly hope that Square Enix would remake this game in some form or fashion. So the masses can play through Roxas' um, full actual story. He deserves it. He really does. He's such a great character. One of the coolest characters in Kingdom Hearts. The Neo Shadows. Yeah. Turn two Keyblades into the Oath Keeper and the Oblivion. Rox is the first man out here dual wielding. So tough. And he taking out these Neo Shadows in one swing, bro. You know how strong these Heartless are? Okay, with the strike rate. It's your boy. Riku. Riku. He gotta kill this part. He gotta kill this part. Yeah. Man, Rico was moving different when he had the blindfold on. And he took Oblivion. Rico, Rico using the Oblivion is the toughest thing ever, bro. Oblivion and Oath Keeper, my favorite Keyblades ever. Mostly because they're, like, they're synonymous with Roxas himself, Roxas and Sword themselves. That dark and that light. So they beat the Heartless together and then they just started fighting each other. Who are you? What does it matter? I'm here for you. Why are you trying to stop me? Because I want back the rest of Sora's memories. Sora. Enough about Sora. Do you have some kind of plan? I'll set Kingdom Hearts free. Then everything will be the way it was. She'll come back. And the three of us can be together again. You mean Shiro? It's a struggle just to remember the name. Either way, I can't let you go doing anything crazy. I'm freeing Kingdom Hearts. And I'm going to find Sora. I want Shion back. I want my life back! 
If you try and make contact with Kingdom Hearts, the last thing you'll get is your life back. Mm. The organization will destroy you. Enough! Ah! I need that part too, I need that part too, I need that part too, I need that fight. I need that fight, I need that fight, I need that fight, I need that fight. Why? Why do you have the Keyblade? Shut up. <laughs> I need that. I need that. I need that. Shout out to Kylo. W video, W, w animation. It was animated really well. I just love, I love 358, man. If Kingdom Hearts had an anime, I would literally be up all night watching it. I'm saying... Like, like, imagine, imagine if Disney Plus launched and, like, they had a Kingdom Hearts anime with it on launch, bro. Like, that shit would have got so many goddamn downloads, so many streams. Like, all, all niggas is really waiting for is a, is a Kingdom Hearts anime on Disney Plus, bro. They do that shit, then, then they got it, bro. They got it. Disney Plus, Disney Plus was skyrocket. I mean, it's already up there, but it was skyrocket. With the Kingdom Hearts fan base on that motherfucker, like, but that may be down the line though. I'm saying it's, uh, Kingdom Hearts isn't just Square Enix; like, it's also dis like a Disney property as well. So it could happen. It could definitely happen. It could definitely happen. All right, so we got that video, and then I'm gonna end things off with this video right here. Um, I seen it on my like homepage and whatnot. I don't really know what to expect but hopefully it's a good dragon ball like fan animation and whatnot oh, we got the tenkaichi or the yeah the tenkaichi music this is tenkaichi 3 music shouts out to the channel bro i can't read the name hold on wait let me restart that okay Dragon Ball Z Super Bardock So is this all fan animated? Ooh The transitions are tough God this should look like a Naruto intro Yeah. Now I'm mad, Frieza. Okay. Bro, this shit really a Naruto opening, y'all. Okay, Bardock versus Shield. Damn. Damn. You fool! This is tough! The parallels between Bardock and Goku. Oh shit! It's still going! Oh shit, okay, hold on. It's gonna go through all the sagas? Vegeta. Yeah, fam from Toronto. Shout out to the six, man. Oh, fuck. Damn, I hope I didn't break my controller. That was good. All right, Boo Saga. Vegito versus Boo. Ooh. Hey, this shit's tough. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the myth himself, the legend, Gohan, Piccolo, yeah, yeah, I'm my father's son, Broly, why is Broly trending? <laughs> I know Apple sent me, or uh, Fax sent me 
that Bolio is trending now today. He's still trending today too. From what I saw earlier. That beast. Gohan got that dog in him. Bro look crazy, bro. Beast Gohan is one of the craziest transformations ever, bro. Rest in peace, Tori, bro. Y'all don't even want to get me started on Ultra Ego and UI, man. Oh, this is the fight. In the chapter. Oh, they fused. Yo, this shit, this shit is Tenkaichi, bro. Oh, did, no, this this happened on Budokai. Budokai 3, I think. Or Budokai, no, Budokai 2. One of those is Budokai 3. It's Budokai 3. When Broly fought Gogeta. Super Saiyan Gogeta. That was a reference to that. Okay. Shit clean. But this shit is a whole Naruto opening. Damn, that was so well put together. That was so well done. That was so well done. Hold on, I need to see the comments. It's going back to Sparking Zero. Sparking Zero, we know about you. We need you. We actually need you, Sparking Zero. We need you. The Tenkaichi reference at the end is crazy. Oh. Yeah, that was, um, wait, let me see. Was that from Tenkaichi? Oh, that was from Tenkaichi 2, right? I'm forgetting where the fuck it was from when Broly was fighting Super Saiyan, um, Gogeta in one of the intros. Um, they say it's a Tenkaichi 3 opening. No, it's not. The song is, the song is from Tenkaichi 3, but Gogeta fighting Broly like that during that, doing that face-off that they was doing, that was from, um, that was from Budokai, I think. Oh, let me see. But that show was fire. Well, let me see real quick. DBZ. Oh, it was Tenkaichi 2. Tenkaichi 2 opening. I think it was Tenkaichi 2 because Tenkaichi 2 had a um it had a 2D opening, right? Oh no, it didn't. Let me see this real quick. It was a 2D fight of Super Saiyan Broly and Gogeta. Yeah, this isn't 2D. Yeah, it's not this. It's not this. It's Budica. It gotta be Budica 3 then. It's definitely Budokai 3. DBZ. Budokai. Yeah, it, it has to be. But well, I know at the end of the Budokai 3 opening, Goku turned Super Saiyan 4 or 2, though. But maybe before that? It gotta be Budokai 3. Because in Budokai 2... In Budokai 2, he threw the Spirit Bomb at Boo, I think, at the end of the cutscene. Alright, let's just see. Let me see, bro. My memory is fucking me up right now. I'm not going to lie. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it was Booty Cop 3. <laughs> Hold on, we watching this whole shit. We watching this whole shit. So, it, the, it had the Tenkaichi 3 song, but the Booty Cop 3, like, it had some Booty Cop 3 references. This is my shit. This is my shit. Vegeta's hair was brown. Like you don't just get full full crafted animations like this for intros nowadays, bruh. You don't get this shit no more, bruh. You don't get this shit. If Sparking Zero has a, a 2D animated intro, like on some uh on some Dragon Ball Super Broly shit, that shit got it. The intro and Sp the intro on Sparking Zero has to be fire, bro. It has to be one of the ones. It has to be legendary, bro. Cause all right, here's the reference though. Cause so many games before it has such iconic intros and openings for the DBZ games.
Bro, Budokai 3 foreshadow, foreshadowed this shit so crazy, bro. This game came out like in 2007 or some shit. Y'all can fact check me. This shit came out in like 2007, bro. Why the fuck they just got Broly fighting Gogeta? <laughs> Why the fuck they got Broly fighting Gogeta for, bro? Like, back then, watching this, I thought I missed an episode or some shit. I'm like, when the fuck did Broly fight Gogeta? <laughs> I thought I was like, okay, this is some video game shit. Because if they they both in the game. But, like, that's if the Super Kamehameha. That's if um Broly didn't get wished away from, um, from, um, damn, how am I forgetting the shorty name? The green bit name. His his girlfriend, Chila, boom. That that's what would have happened if Chila didn't wish Broly back to his planet. Like, look at this shit. This is what would have happened. <laughs> Zapped his ass. Zapped his ass. Oh yeah, and then he turned Super Saiyan 4. Okay, so I was right about both of those then. And then he turned Super Saiyan 4 and fights Omega. But this cutscene was goaded, bro. Booty Cut 3 cutscene is goaded as fuck. Like I have a hard time trying to pick which is my favorite Dragon Ball Z game of all time, like, and, like, of course, Fighters is up there, but Fighters is a fighting game, like, I don't, I count Fighters as a DBZ game, but it's really in its own category, for real, because it's strictly a fighter, like, it's strictly a fighter, but, um, I have a hard time picking between Tenkaichi 3 and Budokai 3, but, if it come down to it, it might lean more towards Tenkaichi 3 because I spent so much time on that game, bruh. Um, I did everything on that motherfucker, so. Imagine how it's going to be when Spark and Zero come out, man, when Tenkaichi 4 comes out, man. Shit going to be wonderful. Shit going to be quite wonderful. Quite wonderful. But, uh, hey, look, though. I'm saying we got ourselves a nice little stream in, man. Um, some nice content we had today and shit uh shout out to everybody that came through to the stream shout out to you know my new sub and shit my man ot87 bro brand new to the stream subbed up to the boy shout out to toronto the six and shit um <laughs> shout out to everybody bro you know shout out to my niggas man um anybody that rewatches the stream that's when it's uploaded on the channel if you're new sub up hit the thumbs up if you enjoy I'm going to be dropping more content on YouTube and my TikTok. You know, check out, check that out. I still got more things to edit from last stream as well. Um, so just tap in, man. Just tap in. But um, I appreciate everybody that came through. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I'm going to get some food and kale. Deuces. Shout out to my niggas. Shout out. Motherfucking niggas.
since they fucking with you. I said since they fucking with you, nigga, since they fucking with you. Hey, since they fucking with you. Since they, since they fucking with you. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, we about to have a good day. Shout out to my niggas, let's have a good day. Shout out to my niggas that stay around the way. Shout out to my niggas that stay running plays. Y'all used to know T back when we had the fade. Dreadlocks on the top, nigga, that was the way. Now these bitches see sick riding on the ways. Remember when niggas used to game every day. Now a nigga focus is stacking this pay, stacking this money. Niggas real funny, ducking these bitches trying to take some from me. Shout out to my mama that be keeping me straight. Watch out for these bitches that be shooting it fake. Okay. WNBA, by the way, they pump fake. Slipping through the grass, they the sneakiest snakes. Mama mentality, that is the way. Hooping in the backyard with my crazy ace. Shout out to my niggas that's trying to be great. Shout out to my niggas that's making this bank. Shout out to my niggas bringing bacon to the plate. Working two jobs, y'all niggas can't be late. This for RBA, the River City, and the Lakes. Shout out to my niggas, we gon' make it every day. Shout out to my niggas, shout out to my niggas, shout out to my niggas, let's have a good day.